Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing my January wrap up. So there is still about a week left of January, but I wanted to film this now so I can actually hopefully edit it on time to post it. So beside me I have my always booked planner and I have it all filled out. Compared to November and December, January has been a very slow reading month, honestly. So let's just get into it. The first book of 2020 that I finished was The Gracier by Kim Leggett. So this is one that I heard a tiny bit about and I just wasn't interested in reading it. I wasn't interested in buying it. I just didn't want to read it at all. And then I needed a book on Libby and I saw this one was available. So I ended up just getting it because I wanted something to listen to while I did dishes. I soon realized that to listen to this one in front of the children, I definitely needed headphones so they couldn't hear it. And I was hooked. I really enjoyed it and I ended up buying it. Um, she finished the last book since my audiobook. I ran out of time. This is about Tierney. It is her grace year. The grace year is when the girls turn 16. They go away for a year to use up all their magic. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> um, you find out that the grace year has more to it than what they say it is. And it is definitely more graphic than I thought it would be. Um, it's definitely, yeah, way more graphic than I thought. So know that going into it, it's similar kind of in the way Hunger Games where um, there's a group of teenagers and they're really brutal and violent and definitely way more than I thought. Um, yeah, there's quotes here from The Handmaid's Tale and Lord of the Flies. I've never read Lord of the Flies, um, but it does also remind me of The Handmaid's Tale and The Hunger Games mixed together. Um, Nate is so chatty sometimes, but definitely liked it. Um, the next book I finished, I also listened to it as an audiobook. Um, I don't have it with me, but I'll put it up right here. And it's The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. I gave this a 4 out of 5. So I'm continuing on with this audiobook. I have the second one right now that I need to listen to. Um, I really enjoyed it, though some parts were really contradicting. In one paragraph it would say something, and then in a different paragraph it would completely contradict itself and say something else. For example, one part... Um, the guy, the prince, dragon prince guy, is using her name Echo, and he's calling her Echo, and she's, in her head, she's complaining about like, oh, how dare he use my name? Why is he using my name? Just complaining he's using her name, and then he calls her like human or a girl or something um, at one point, and she's like, I have a name, you know. So after complaining about him using her name, and then he doesn't use her name and then she complains again and then that was just kind of annoying eye rolling and then there was another instance where it was just contradictory and kind of annoying the book also had a ton of banter between the two main characters this is about a girl called echo um she was an orphan and then she was taken in by i forget her name but she's like a bird person and the bird people have this centuries old war with these dragon people. Hi. But the war will come to an end if they find the firebird. Careful, Rai. Then the third and final book that I, so far, that I finished. Yeah, what day is it? Okay, I have less than a week. Today is Tuesday, so there's today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday left in January, so I will probably finish the book I'm currently reading and that's it. So, the next book I finished in January was Spider-Gwen Most Wanted. 
I really love the colors on this one. And I do like the artwork. Let's find like a page here near the beginning. Or let's just do the first page there. So I like this one. I'm not super knowledgeable about um, Spider Gwen or anything. I want to watch Into the Spider Verse because I feel like this, well, it pretty much tells you in here. It takes place after that. And there's the spider pig that makes an appearance in here. So um, I feel like I should watch that movie. But I really enjoyed it. And for not really knowing anything about Spider Gwen or I don't really know a ton about Marvel and all of the superheroes. I still really enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun reading it. Um, then I have no idea where I put the book. I'm currently reading Never Night. I'm almost on page 200 and I'm, I'm enjoying it so much more now. So this was for book club, which I never finished this in time for book club. And I have to say, it took me a really long time to read the first 100 pages. I wasn't into it. I didn't really like it. And I couldn't really see what all the hype was all about. But once I got to page 120-ish, I started to actually enjoy it more and look forward to reading it instead of like pushing myself to read it. Um, especially hearing all my friends talk about how much they enjoyed it. And... They had spoilers, which I don't really care about. So they were telling me spoilers, saying what happened, what they liked about it, their favorite parts. And that also definitely made me more excited to read it because then I knew it got better. So I've read a little bit today and I honestly have no idea where I put the book. So hopefully I can find it so I can read tonight. So thank you for watching my January wrap up. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below what you read in January. Hi, look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? So cute. Ooh, that was gross. Also, I did my nails. Do you like them? Oh, that ring was crooked. Let's fix that.